Hi, everyone. Welcome to Barrel Institute Elevate PX. My name is Scott Klein, and I'm the president and CEO of Language Line Solutions. Recently, I was asked how I'd explain my job to a 10 year old. My response was that my job is not really so much a job as it is a privilege. Each day, I have the privilege of waking up and leading thousands of people who have the same goal, which is to create a world in which language and cultural barriers no longer exist. To some, that goal may seem too big, but to us, it's well within reach. Four decades ago, Language Line founded the telephone interpretation industry. Back then, it would have seemed impossible that each of us would carry a device where we could press a button and within seconds, a professional interpreter would appear. Yet that's exactly what we deliver today. It's called mobile interpreting. Mobile interpreting is like having nearly 15,000 interpreters in your pocket. By downloading the Language Line app onto your smartphone or tablet, you can get interpretation in more than 240 languages on demand within seconds. We're going to speak with one of our great, great partners, Evelyn Ramos. Evelyn is Director of Volunteer and Interpreter Services at New York Presbyterian Hospital, which is one of the top health systems in the entire nation. New York Presbyterian was very proactive in rolling out mobile interpreting at the start of the pandemic. Evelyn, thank you very much for being with us. And I'm going to just jump in and start with some of our questions. Can you describe for us what the early days of the pandemic were like at New York Presbyterian? Sure. First, Scott, thank you so much for having me. Um, well, a year later, and um, we still feel what we did a year ago at this time. Um, it was a moment in which we needed to mobilize all resources available, um, human resources, technology resources, in a moment's notice. And it was that intensity that really allowed us to do what we needed to do. And in terms of providing services as best and as quickly and as efficiently as possible. What, what specific challenges did you face when it came to communicating with limited English speakers, as well as the deaf and hard of hearing? Well, we always had a system in place where we provided interpreting services to our limited English proficient patients. So our providers had the tools in their toolkit to be able to speak to our patients and their families in real time in an efficient way. So whether it was over the phone or mobile or using VRI technology, we had these resources readily available on the onset, and it really proved to be valuable so that we can provide care. So, so why did you decide to roll out the mobile interpreting application? Well, we're committed to providing quality, safety, improving the patient experience, and having everyone be included also with engaging our employees. And it only made sense to have a resource readily available for our staff and our providers. So having all of our providers have NYP provision phones, it was just really a no-brainer, if you will, to push the app out so that our providers with one click can have an interpreter available at the moment of need. Uh, how many members of the team app actually got the mobile app? When we rolled it out, it was a decision. We thought about, do we only provide it to clinicians? Do we only do it in this way or another? And it just made sense for us to push the app to everyone. So everyone meant over 50,000 users and users. So each of our employees um, have NYP provision phones. So they got the app. All of our mobile heartbeat phones, which I typically call our grab and go phones, the apps were pushed, the app was pushed on those devices as well. So I would say overall, we have about 50,000 pieces of equipment, meaning smartphones that have the app on them. And, and how many of the staff members are using it today? 
I understand that as of today, we've had 17,000 um, activations. And on a daily basis, our utilization is about 12,000 calls per day on average. With all those users, how did you actually train them? Well, we have a large footprint, so we had to take various approaches. Um, we presented at various venues. We sent out global communication across the enterprise. We created a job aid. We have the Infonet, which is our website where our employees can rely on valuable information and resources so they can go into our interpreter services page there. So we did a lot of various approaches given our footprint and obviously everyone that would need to have access to the mobile app application. So have you had any specific feedback from your providers or from your patients? I can say that the staff are beyond thrilled. Um, having used the traditional landline and using audio services, knowing that they can rely on a device that has all the other applications that they use on a day-to-day -to, -day to provide care, having this ability to have an interpreter while they also look at lab results and communicate with staff on that one device. It's been revolutionary. And our patients are also seeing the ease and how the workflow is just seamless given the accessibility of having language access as well on their phone. You know, Evelyn, I can't even begin to tell you how wonderful it is to get this kind of feedback and how much I appreciate it and how much our team appreciates it. You know, when you made the decision to do this, uh, I'm sure part of the discussion was thinking about the incremental minutes that would be used and the cost of all that. How did you and the rest of the team rationalize making that kind of a decision? Just like any other resource that hospitals have to look into whether it's equipment, whether it's supplies, this had the same kind of analogy. We knew it was going to come with a cost, obviously, but we also knew the benefit of having a resource for our providers and our patients so that our provision of care can, can continue. So with the involvement of IT and telecommunication, it really did take a village. Um, it may sound that it's very easy to push an app and it works the next day. And really, given our infrastructure and how large we are with 10 campuses and many um, community clinics in the area, um, it took some time, but with the right people, making the right decisions and having the support of our leadership, we were able to make the decision, push the app out, and the cost is the cost, but what is the cost of not providing services, right? So it was a win-win across the board. Uh, that's, again, so great to hear that. You know, you're a, a thought leader and an expert in uh, this part of the healthcare world. Any other recommendations or advice you'd have for other organizations that are watching this today? Sure. I would really recommend if making this decision, get the right people involved from the very beginning. Um, I mentioned IT and telecommunication, but there's obviously other people that should be part of the decision making. And really, if you have the infrastructure, do it. It has for New York Presbyterian, it has proven to be a valuable resource. Our employees embrace the technology. Um, we use our phone today for so many different things, pay bills, you know, go shopping. But to have this tool readily available, almost a one-stop shopping when a provider is at the bedside, it's, it's really something that's extremely valuable. And, and the return on your investment is just priceless. You know, Evelyn, I, I really appreciate you taking this time to be with us. But before I let you go, I have one last question. Was there anything about the mobile interpreting experience that was a surprise to you in any way? 
That's that's a really good one. Um, I would really have to say what what jumps out at me is how quickly the staff embraced it. And we saw the numbers just tick in activation and utilization very, very early on. And that that obviously had a lot of, um, it had a lot to do with how we presented it and making it available for our end users. So maybe not so much a surprise, but the surprise being that it took off so quickly. That is, uh, that is so great to hear. Evelyn, you know, thank you. Thank you so much for your partnership and for all that you do at New York Presbyterian to ensure excellence and equity in patient care. Thanks again, and please take care. Thank you for having me. Thanks to all of you for watching today, and I hope that you got as much out of that conversation with Evelyn as I do. The mobile interpreting solution is a real game changer. And all of our partners that have adopted it have that same reaction that you saw with Evelyn. You know, at Language Line, we want to contribute to a society in which being understood is universal and everyone is empowered to communicate. We know that all of you want the same, and it is an honor to serve alongside you. We cannot thank you enough for your partnership and for the work you do each and every day to provide the very best experience for your patients. Thank you and stay safe.